Hi everybody, this is Susie Liberatory Revisions to Images. I'm a branding and marketing expert. Um, I've had my business ran for over about six years and I've been in the marketing and branding business for eight years. Um, we have fully launched, launched into a creative agency over the past couple of months and I'm, I just love what I do. So I just wanted to kind of start our YouTube channel and to get people familiar with some of the great things that um, is about branding. So many people come to me and they're like, I don't even understand branding. Like, what is branding? Branding is so much more than you guys ever think. So essentially what it is, is it's your logo, it's your appearance, it's everything, guys. It is the nits and grits of your business. It is how people portray you, how they see you, what they think about you, the voice, the colors, everything. Think of the major, like, brands that you see every day. Starbucks, you know, Dunkin' Donuts, and whatever else you guys use. People pay to have those big brand names, you know? You, you deal with them every single day. Whoever you deal with is who you go to. But what really breaks down a brand? So... I have some freebies on my website for you guys to check out. I, I encourage you to check them out. And I also encourage you guys to go and um, sign up for my newsletter. I send out freebies. I send out info. I send out deals. And I send out so much great stuff for you guys um, two times a week. It used to be, or two times a month, I'm sorry. It used to be once a month, but people were encouraging me to do more. And since I'm the burning and marketing expert, I was like, why not? Um, so here's something for you guys to think about. You have a logo, but what really is it? It's two to three colors that um, defines your brand. And basically, your colors define you. So if you want something warm, you use like a lighter blue and a gray, and it, it gives the warm feeling. If you think about major publications like Best Buy and stuff like that, like they give you the blues and the yellows, and it's, it's made for monetizing and feeling good about yourself. So everybody puts in strategic um, thoughts when they do their logo and their branding. So definitely kind of doing some research and knowing um, what your brand stands for and who your audience is, is, is a huge factor. I always suggest to people to have one main image and that image kind of portrays your brand. My image is wood. I love wood. My office is wood. Everything is wood and it's dark wood. It's not the light. It's not rusty. It's the dark wood. I suggest having one to two fonts. Um, typically people want the fancy smancy fonts and that's not always good. You want to kind of have something simple, easy, sans serif, um, like that. And you want to have one to two. That's it. And you want to have one to two patterns um, that defines your brand and it goes with it. So mine is the wood again. Um, but it's also like a turquoise kind of color because that's who I am. So I encourage you to go see my freebies on my website. And it gives you all of this information. The fact is, is when you hire somebody for branding, they give you all of this, they do it all for you, and they make it professional and cohesive. Um, there's so much more, though. So beyond the logo, there's your website, your social media, and your branding collateral. And these are like the biggest factors right now because it's digital, and then there's print. So there's two parts to digital. That's the website and the social media and how people portray you on there. So there's a lot of stuff. Your website and your social media have to match. It has to match. And this is all part of your branding process. And anybody that you hire for branding that's professional and you pay the bucks, they will help you and guide you through this whole process. So even the branding collateral, like your business cards, your postcards, people say print's dead. It's not dead, guys. It is not. In fact, it's probably better than ever because nobody's doing it. So you're ahead of everybody else right? Um, I would, I would honestly just guys understand what branding and marketing does for you and your company. It, it is so important. It's not always about just the logo. It's about how people portray you. It's about, it's about how they, how they, how you make them feel. When I go to coach, I feel amazing. I feel great because I spent these big bucks and I got this purse, and then I come home and I regret it, and then I'm like, oh, I'm wearing it, and people compliment me, and I'm like, hey, it really does pay off. That's the kind of stuff that is about branding, how it makes you feel, how, how, how you get that, 
how you get it all, you know? When you go somewhere and you have a bad experience, that's part of branding. So why did you have that bad experience? What can you do to kind of tell them about your experience? Most of the time they ask you for surveys. Most of the time they give you emails and da 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 That's all part of your branding. And it just keeps growing and growing and growing. Your branding is constantly growing and it's ever changing because there's so many outlets, there's so many platforms, there's so many things to it. And there's not one specific thing to do. There's no one right or wrong way. It is what it is. And y you can help it by giving it that feel, by defining your audience, by defining your business and your brand, and really narrowing it down and to get into those people because after all, branding is about feeling, guys. Like I said, when I walk out of coach, da 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 I feel it inside of me. When I go to New York and company, I'm like, oh, I got cute clothes and I didn't pay a lot of money, but I wasn't cheap. I feel good about it because I'm like, I got bargains, but yet I feel good because I'm gonna look good wearing it. It's all of that. It's about how they portray to you. It's about their voice. It's about everything. So when you are doing branding, marketing, and logo design, Think about these things. Think about how you want your audience to portray you. Think about the voice behind it. People don't pay because of the brand per se. They pay, Well, they do. But they pay for what's behind it. So like I said, the feeling. You invoke something. You're happy. You're sad. You love it. You want to want more of it. That's the branding aspect of it. And that's really what it comes to. And no matter where you go, there's always something or someone that you like. And you go back and you're like, okay. And if they leave the company, if it's a person, they're like, well, I'm not going to carry on because my person left. That's all still part of branding because you're getting that feeling. You're getting that satisfaction. I'm going to tell you a quick, quick story. Um, there was this person one time who went to a company and had a bad, bad experience. And they didn't do nothing about it. So they wrote on their Facebook page, you know, and they still didn't care about it. What does that do for them? That's a horrible thing, right? Okay, I'm rambling. I need to edit that out. I don't know where I was going with that.